we're going to go now to the reactivation flow. And we're going to create this reactivation flow from scratch. We're going to name it reactivation. And in this flow, let's say we're going to select only our X lovers. Now, if you'd want to include other type of uh, customers that have a low uh, recency, like for example, Don Juans or even breakups, although keep in mind breakups are your promotion hunters, yeah? You should uh, keep in mind as in the previous flow and just uh, make sure you understand the differences between the value of each of these subgroups so you properly adjust your uh, offer towards them to reward the ones that are more valuable and to make sure you're not losing, just uh, trying to uh, get the less valuable ones back. So I'm going to select the trigger for this flow, the X lover RFM group. Now that means when customers are entering this segment, the RFM group X lover, they're going to start this flow. I want to keep customers in this flow only as long as they haven't placed any order since the beginning of this flow. So that's why I'm going to restrict the flow to only certain people. And I'm going to add a flow filter, what someone has done or not done. And I'm going to type place, placed order zero times since starting this flow and save and done. Now, there are a few ways to go about this flow. You can think, for example, to include a survey and uh, find out why some of your customers are not coming back and uh, then get back with an incentive combined with a solution for the problem that they're reporting or you can simply go with a um, we miss you type of email in the beginning and then start uh, with a strong incentive to get them back. And maybe you could do, um, I don't know, you can have even a landing page designed for this uh, group and uh, uh, have them uh, there um, to redeem a gift with a purchase or that's based on your marketing team's ideas. One thing um, you can do from the very beginning of this flow is let's have a look in the RFM score mapping. So again, store settings, general, RFM score mapping and see who the customers in this X lover group are. So we're here and we get to see there are customers that haven't placed an order in a very long time. They have the lowest recency, but their monetary value is high and highest. It's really good. They placed at least two orders. There's still a big difference between them. So you see this one to four subgroup that uh, has an average spend per customer of 827 euros, as opposed to this 155, which are your former soulmates that spent in average per customer 6,000 euros. So one thing you could do is you could split them again, as in the previous flow, by the um, average spend. And you could do one other thing. You could also create a split based on previous collection that they shopped from, for example. And you would do that by including information that you have in Clavio from your e-commerce platform. So for example, in here, I'm going to select a condition, what someone has done or not done, and I'm going to select fulfilled order. And I'm going to select in here from a specific collection. Yes. And I'm just going to, I don't know, um, select something in here. Um, at least once over all time. And then I know I want to uh, have different flows for customers that uh, shopped from different collections or different categories, or whatever information you can combine from your e-commerce platform and build your flows accordingly.
If you have questions, if you need more ideas, don't hesitate to reach out to our amazing customer support team. We're always happy to help you out.